All right, hey Leo, so I'm doing a quick energy check-in. And this is for who has got their eyes on you, who's checking you out, who's spying on you. And we're gonna pull to see the most prominent energies coming through. So I'm gonna pull three main energies. Um, you could have several. It could be one in the same coming through um, and a potential future coming through, somebody from the past. All right, so we're just gonna pull to see what is coming through um, your energy zone. All right, so you guys might want to check your other placements because it might have more detail, especially if you don't resonate with um, all the energies that I pull right here. All right, so if you guys are new, welcome. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my energy. Okay, um, also too in the links or in the description, I have some links um, to my book. It's about my uh, my twin flame intimations, my clues um, on how I, I figured out I was on the path, um, healing, um, shadow work, um, you know, f finding my um, magic, connecting with myself and my counterpart and all that good stuff. All right. It does not focus on the love story, but more on the healing journey. So anyways, you got the chariot card coming through, you got the lovers card coming through and you got the six of cups. So I really feel like there is a deep love here that's coming through. The chariot card could reference um, somebody anew that's trying to enter. Um, you got your wish fulfillment card coming through with the nine of cups also. And the lovers could actually um, reference choices, okay? It could reference choices, especially if somebody new is trying to come in while you got somebody from the past trying to come through. It could be, too, that as you're trying to move forward um, and, to, and to forget the past, that this past actually comes back. So I'm going to clarify these three energies with an, an, an oracle card. And we're going to see who is stepping into um, your life. All right. This is a 30-day intention read. 30-day intention read. What is happening here? All right, so what do we got? Look at that. You got lightning coming through, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Um, we have photograph, looking at your photos of you, missing you, nostalgia, and making new memories. Look at you got soulmates coming through again. You got soulmate and soulmate coming through. So photograph, heart with a key. You got um, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together in perfection. All right, and then lightning, I feel, is somebody else that's kind of um, been in the mix. Now, what, what I'm going to say here is this. All right, now the Six of Cups does reference the past, but it also refer references a past life connection. So what I'm going to say is with the Lover's card, the Six of Cups, the Heart Key, and the Photograph, I feel like that's all one and the same. And I feel like lightning could either be a return of the past or it could reference, um, you know, somebody new kind of coming in and shaking things up for you while your heart still sits over here. Okay, so that's kind of what I see. I see um, a, a real strong soulmate bond and then something either from the past or something trying to come in. But it's like you're you're like, I'm sitting right here, man. Right. So let's just see what the most prominent energy is here. The one that you're going to be dealing with the most in the next 30 days. All right. The, so you got your sun card coming through. That is your happily ever after. You got your eight of swords. The person that you think about most is coming with that. And the Ten of Cups, yeah, your wish fulfillment is coming through. All right, so there's gonna you're going to see some change in the next 30 days. Okay, I feel like the Eight of um, Swords definitely references being in your head about somebody, not being able to shake this energy, right? Um, it's like, gosh, you know, I just can't... Uh, I can't shake them. The feelings and emotions I'm having for this, um, the lovers, uh, six of cups combo, right? So I feel like you're just really, uh, feeling pretty nostalgic about this, uh, that lover, that lover energy. Um, it's almost like whoever is coming in is, is a universal test. Um, but you know all too well that tests don't work out for you, right? Once your heart's, um, made a decision, I feel like you kind of stick with that. Okay. For whoever's coming through here. So let's just see what the, their next move is. This energy over here, that soulmate love. What is their next move? We're looking at the next 30 days. All right. Look at that. You got your page of cups coming through. So definitely some messages coming through with sweetness. Okay. This, this card just wants to keep on popping in for you guys. All right. So um, you got your nave of water, the page of water coming through with messages. That's some um, new beginnings. It's an intro. All right. And where maybe you have kind of been left in the dark on what's going on with this connection. I feel the moon card coming in reverse shows um, a silver lining. Okay. Um, you got your four of cups too also showing up here. So their next move is definitely coming in. All right. The four of cups um, references to me. It's an opportunity coming through. Um, and, you know, it could have been too that this energy right here um, is a past energy or in and out energy that may have actually looked like um, red flags or missed opportunity, right? But I feel like what you're going to do um, when this connection comes back around is you're actually going to be getting some uh, uh, bigger clarity, better clarity 
on where you stand with this person and make sure you make that known when they come back in. All right. So let's just see what their desires and fantasies are with you, their desires or fantasies. I feel like it's coming through more of a desire, less of a fantasy. We got your night of uh, earth coming through here. That's really just wanting to take it slow. I don't want to rush into anything. Leo, if you were, um, if you were kind of pushing it beforehand, um, you know, and like, I really want this connection to happen. I really want, you know, I want to, I want to make it worth your while. Uh, I just really want to be with you, blah, blah, blah. Um, your determination may have pushed them away. Um, the, the reason I say that is because, um, they, they want to come in, but they, it's like, it's not that they want to make it their way or have it their way, but they definitely don't want to push this. They don't want it to be fast. Okay. Because they do have some, I'm going to say fear or phobia is coming through death in reverse suggest it's a fear. Okay. It is a fear, but it's not that they're not going to work through that. All right. Um, basically they want to come in and they want to spill their heart to you. They want to tell you, let's, I, I want to try this again. Okay. I really do want this with you. I want a new start. I want the transformation and change, but I just, we got to take it slow. Um, I feel like who you're dealing with right here is somebody who possibly has some commitment issues and it probably references stuff of the past. Um, that has not been cleared, right? So when they come back through, all right, they want to make it slow. They want, let's just see what their intentions are because obviously they're not trying to come in and get married, right? So what are their intentions when they come back through? We got the queen of wands coming through. That's your energy right there. You guys, that's just saying they're highly, very, they're very highly attracted to you. All right, you got your six of wands showing up here and then we got the um, queen of water. So this right here is balance. You got six, um, which could often depict balance. Okay, but this right here is is the balance of, of energies. So queens, the queens, when I see that energy come through, it's like I wasn't fair. You know, I probably acted in one way beforehand. So now I'm coming through to balance um, the scales. I want to make it right. I want to be your balance. I want to push things forward. This six of wands is all about the victory. It's moving forward. It's the win. Okay, so they have no ill intentions. Um, if everything was lopsided beforehand, I feel like um, they want to come through and make the, it's like emotional and spiritual balance. Okay. If you've given more in the past, um, emotionally, spiritually, um, you know, uh, just what your, your passionate energy, I feel like they're coming back through and they really want to balance that. So I see no ill intentions with their return. All right. So let's just see how they feel about you as a person. This is a little bit different than their desires. How they feel about you as a person. Look at that. You're fun. Like they see life with you. And the three of cups is like wanting that um, union. It's wanting to come together. It's like I, I miss you. You got your ace of wands coming through your ace of fire. Um, that right there is a depiction of brand new beginnings. And you got the wheel card coming through also. So it's like you you are. You have been a, a really huge marker in their life. All right. For positive change. Even if you haven't seen it from this person yet. They do recognize the gift that you've given them. And I feel like this person is very inspired by you. All right. Um, you're, you're a gift from the universe, the will of fortune, right? That's, that's the big time. That's the jackpot. Okay. Um, they're very, very, what, and anything that you guys have done in the past, any sexual or chemistry connections that you guys have made with this person that has not fallen away from them. Okay. They, they see that, um, that you kind of hold that flame for them. And again, you know, just wanting to come together and stabilize um, the harmony in this connection with you. So let's just see um, what this, where the what the potential to turn into more. Let's let's see what the potential is for this to become more. What is the potential for this to become more? All right, we got our Knight of Fire coming through. There's your card. There is your card. You got your Ace of Swords coming through. And then we got the king of earth. Look at that. That is beautiful, you guys. So the potential is that balanced king, queen energy, the balanced masculine, the balanced feminine energy. All right. With the ace of air, the one of air, that's the victory. That is the big time right there, you guys. So the potential for this connection to go all the way um, to, to, to have that balance, that balanced masculine and feminine energy um, right here is just speaking volumes. All right. All you got to do is have patience and allow everything to unfold. Um, you know what I mean? Allow this person to come through and, and see their change and their growth. Um, and you know, um, if they want to take it slow or whatever, it's like, you know, you can respect that, but also too, we're not going to do this nine month to a year bullshit. And still we're, we don't know, um, we don't have any common goals in sight. Right. Um, so are, what are we dating for? So let's just see what your advice is to stay motivated for the best change to come your advice look at that yeah if you really want this what you're being told is to hang in there this is my dirty deck you guys just so you know 
All right, you got your Ten of Wands, which is a determination card, and you got the Page of Earth coming through too. That's not only a messenger, but it's also a card of repairing the past, healing the past. It's looking forward to the future and manifesting a great opportunity here with this person that is coming through very near and dear to your heart space. We can tell. All right, so I'm going to pull some initials, and we're, we're going to see who we're talking to. Again, guys, if you could interact with the video, um... To help me get through the algorithm, I would appreciate that. Um, anyways, initials. We got A, K, C, R, Q, and we got O. All right, Leo. I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week ahead. Um, you guys take care.